That should be good. Lower the volume a bit. Um, if I reload the page, is that okay? Uh, sick. Alright. Now to post in the chats. This is round six now, not round three. Posted in all the groups. Uh, I'll post in here too. I'm sorry I'm late, SK. It took me a little bit. I had to get a uh, Twitch chat going um, on the stream so that you guys can see it hopefully. Uh, that way when I have the VODs and like if people have been talking in Twitch chat uh, and people watch on YouTube, they'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. Um, and that way you guys can have discussion too and hopefully be involved a little bit more. But um, yeah, so uh, my league this time, uh, I got paired with Achilles finally. Um, I haven't been matched with him un until like season two. And uh, he's the one that I kind of beat last season. I got one, he got two, and it was pretty much just because um, just because I ended up getting placed in a round with more stars than him, and I just got max stars. But uh, yeah, so he lost two. He lost an attack to Trovengard and to me, but then he five-starred him right after. So I pretty much can only waste one attack um, this league. So it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty rough, but uh, I think I can still do it. Um, it's pretty much just going to depend on whether or not uh, my procs go off and if I understand what the new formations will do for uh, like resistance and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, but I do want to talk about uh, the new um, the new formations and stuff because uh, it definitely it definitely threw the meta for a loop. Uh, people <laughs> people don't know what they're doing anymore. Uh, everybody's max resistance fleet is pretty much garbage now, um, but yeah, so we will, uh, we'll get into that, um, and we can look at the fleets in here first, or the formations in here, but, uh, yeah, so what <laughs> I actually made a post early on, because when I made my advanced, I, I advanced all these, and then I looked, and I was realized I couldn't have the old ones, so I thought, uh, I thought Aeon, like, screwed us to the point where like this was still the old double projection but it turns out they just changed everything which I think was the right way to do it it would have been kind of nuts if like the advanced formations weren't that good because the RES plus 15 formation was better um, and I know a lot of people talk will mention because like a couple months ago we had an event where we were supposed to uh, like come up with ideas uh, for new formations and pretty much everybody talked about um, like a formation it wasn't considered good if people if it didn't stack up to the res 15 formation the old double projection people would be like why would i run this over the double projection and then astronauts literally just went ah, well there's no gonna be no more real double projection anymore so uh, get used to the new ones uh which i kind of like actually it's gonna add a lot more diversity like th like this one um like it's great for attackers but it has obvious weaknesses because you're going to be open to every fire and then uh this one i actually like a lot it's what i usually run and it's good for hyper battleships um the 60 fighter eva is actually no slouch either that actually helps a ton for counter fire heroes uh in like general war i'm finding that i'm not getting blown up by counter fire heroes whereas before like counter fire heroes would destroy you on a mothership master that is um so this actually is like a soft counter that to that but um, let me see if I can find it. Where's the the all accuracy formation? Is that this one? 
Yeah, but so this one definitely counters that formation. And I think we'll see some use uh, with this one on defense because uh, it's pretty good with counter fire heroes and confusion fires. Uh, definitely Peter. Firth got confused easily by the non cannon content. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so this one is pretty good, I think. Uh, it's also got that weird point formation, so your middle fleet's actually pretty pretty safe to explosive fire unless you have it advanced. Hey, Coburn, what's up? Um, and then I know a lot of people are running uh, advanced central repression. Um, Yo, Anubis, what's up? Because uh, this one just helps you stack durability. Uh, it does give you a little bit of rest too, which is nice. But this one paired with like a reflex shield, and if you can get compact armor, um, it like like you can put motherships super high with durability. Uh, <laughs> like I was doing the math, and like you could probably hit like 12 to 13 billion, 14 maybe easy, like without even that good of trons. Um, which I'm gonna go into the numbers uh, in a bit once I finish going over all of the all of the um, fleet stuff, but. Yeah, some people will say that like they didn't take into it into consideration and they just copied and pasted it and stuff. But I think like I think the fleets are actually pretty decent how they are because like this advanced central repression is really good for a defensive fleet, but it sucks on offense. Like doing this durability, like you have four guys who can get hit to advanced piercing fire. Um, so it has its weaknesses and it's not it's not an attacking formation because you have to run like four tanks or else you might be weak to long range fighter. Um, so I think that that like this fits this formation the best, um, and then advanced double projection. A lot of people are still running that or the regular one just because they have the they just haven't switched up yet. Um, but the twenty missile and fighter resist is pretty interesting, and then that pairs with uh, where is that? Is that this one? Where's the one with uh, cannons or the beam one? Is that this one? Yeah, this one. I kind of f kind of find it weird that it's this, but it it kind of makes sense. Uh, it's really similar to the double projection, just with one further back. Um, yeah, and then this one would be more used, I think, if you're using hyper battleships without um, without stealth missiles yet. Uh, but you do lose out on the counter fire or counter fire evasion, because counter fire is definitely a big threat to hyper battleships. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then I guess that one gives res. I haven't tried out uh, either of these ones yet. I might see the thing is it's like that attack is really nice but you got to run three tanks uh, or you have to be against a fleet that isn't threatening you with that uh, so like long-range fighter can put um to it central assault hyper cruiser stuff which one is central assault central assault for this one oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah I could see that if you have like a super evasion build yeah this this one would be a good one for that uh, that's what I think the meta is gonna turn into it's gonna turn into resisting a lot um, resisting a lot but not all and then you're going to evade some and you're going to have a lot higher durability than previous previous we had before um, but yeah, I'll get into it a little bit uh, let me move this up alright yeah so for some reason my stream wasn't letting me like look at Excel necessarily so I have to like look at this image and do it this way but um yeah let me see I'm gonna pull up Excel just so I have the all of them. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is I kind of have like eight, like eight or nine different ways to run um, MS8 because a lot of people still are at that point in this game. They don't have Hyper MS yet, and then I'm gonna go over like what you can do with Hyper Motherships too for resistance and stuff. And these are just like kind of just my numbers I just came up with at like two in the morning, so. Other people might have like better setups or better ways to go about it, but um, if you see green, so like on device three and extra one and defense hero two, that means that you're not wasting those slots. So like you have a free, uh, a free device and a free extra there, but obviously you're weak to fighters and you're weak to cannons halfway, uh, with PC. But um, yeah, yeah, and that's in the advanced double projection. So with the the normal fleet, I think this is like what everyone was running before, but uh, it's just a little different now. Um, but that one lets you max out um, with a beam resist extra. It lets you max out beam and missiles uh, pretty cleanly. Uh, and then this one, I probably could fill it up with like a device or something. Um, so if you had a bypass, but not a lot, not a ton of people with MS8 have bypass devices. So um, 
it's kind of a moot point. Uh, I'll go into more builds that uh, do a little better. They max like three, and then they they resist all tears, but not PC if you have bypass. But um, yeah, so you could pop in two extras right there, two resist extras, and get your beam and missile resist up, uh, and then just be really weak to fighters. Um, so that's one way to go about it. Uh, these are kind of like the bad ones, I think. Um, this is one, uh, I kind of like it, but um, it's not super good. It's So you have to run two defense heroes, and that's what the red means right there. Um, but if you run cannon defense and fighter defense, you can get almost all resist, and then technically if you have beam bypass, you could uh, max MS8 resistance that way. Um, so that's that's another potential build. But these are kind of for like defense builds. Um, I think for I think for attacking, you definitely need to be able to switch up um, your fleets, and you need to be able to run uh, like you need to switch devices at all times. And if like if they're not using something, like there's no point in resisting something they're not using. Hyper cruisers, to my knowledge, is garbage now. Yeah, I haven't looked into it a lot. The problem is is that a lot of people's builds were focused around like max minning the perfect amount and this just mix it up just enough to the point where they need to respect their entire stats um hyper cruisers as tanks i don't know how viable they are but um oh sorry as dps as tanks i think they're still decent because you can get high evasion numbers um and like i've seen uh i've seen a couple of people think that the best way to go about it is to like resist two weapons and then you evade two other ones and then you just put 10 points in durability because that's pretty cheap to do um so i think that's a good way to run hyper cruiser tanks but before it was everyone's putting points in resistance um i don't know to either go hyper motherships or hyper battleships i heard hyper battleships with stealth and missiles is the best way to go uh but everything has changed now yeah uh only as only some stuff has changed i still still think hyper battleships stealth are good I just think it's not going to be as easy. A lot of times, like, and if you watch my old videos, I literally just went in and stealth right by everyone and just blew people up. But I think that's going to be a lot harder now um, with the durability increase. Because that's another thing people aren't, like, really noticing is that during this patch, everyone got 10% dur- all the ships got 10% durability boost. Which is actually pretty significant. Um, it pretty much is the difference between, like... I mean, it's like half a device almost, but Hyper Motherships, now that they, if they have a hole somewhere, they can put Reflex Shield on, and they have that Dur Formation, and then the 10% more, like, we're going to see some really tanky, uh, tanky ships, but I think Hyper Battleships are still good. Um, I also think Aeon's trying to push us to the point where, like, you need to run a bunch of Hyper Ships, uh, like, your DPS and yours need to be able to switch, um, and they're really, they're really gunning for that, not, like, you solely main just one ship. Um, yeah, and then this is the one, uh, this is one of them that I kind of like. Uh, there's another one that you can do too, let me see. Um, but this for MS8 lets you run, uh, you only run one defense hero, so you run the cannon defense. And theoretically, you could not have the cannon defense. You could put an extra in there, and you would still resist, um, you would still resist all tears to fully you'd just be weaker to pc um the only thing is it requires you to have um fighter bypass device but uh, i think this is a potential build that people could have i'm gonna make it like that so people don't get confused um and this is in the advanced central guard formation uh so you get the 20 beam 20 cannon resist uh and you are able to just max out fighter and missile get a little over on beam uh and then you're weak to cannons but um if they're not running cannons or if like you think it could work go for it um but yeah like i said so this saves an extra extra slot so you could have accuracy or you could pump up a little more into cannon resist uh or s s uh get rid of the defense hero but yeah just just some options right there uh and then go back down um oh yeah how's i gonna do it i'm gonna have to move it up a little more all right cool all right we're gonna cover my face but that's okay um actually we'll move me down there now i'll be over here <laughs> all right um but yeah so this this formation or this fleet let's see um this one just has a beam hole 
but you still have to run two defense fleets. Um, but nowadays, like almost all my other fleets had max beam resistance, so you could use this to bait them into um, uh, thinking you have full resist, but you really don't. And this is in the dur formation. Uh, so you get the 30% durability boost, which is pretty decent. But again, you do have to run a second second hero right there. Um, and then, yeah, there's another one. This is the same thing, dur formation. Uh, and I think the only thing I really changed in it <coughs> was um, you need you need to use a second extra, uh, and then you're just weak to missiles instead of being weak to beams. Uh, so that's another way to go about it. Um, and then this one, uh, this is another advanced central oppression. I kind of focused on this one because I think it's really good on defense. Um, and this one you get really close to maxing cannon resist. Uh, again, you need two heroes, but um, you do max everything else out. So uh, just another thing. But uh, these also require bypass devices, specifically cannon bypass. Um, you could, if you want, like not use cannon bypass in this one. Uh, and then you would just be more weak to um, cannons, but you could probably add a durability device like Reflex Shield and um, go up to, I don't know, you could, you could maybe boost your durability by 2 billion, which, I mean, if you're going to get hit by max damage anyway, a Reflex Shield might save you another time. So, And if their cannons don't proc, uh, they won't win anyway. So, um, Yeah, and then I got this one. So this is Advanced Double Projection. This one, uh, I actually like this one a lot. Um, this one you need fighter bypass device, but you do save an extra slot, uh, and then again you're just weak to cannons. That's the thing, in this meta I think you're going to be weak to a lot of cannons. Um, but uh, yeah, and then there was one more that ran, uh, uh, the device 3 slot's supposed to be open, but um, you run two defense heroes and you can, you can max everything. Uh, if you have, if technically if you have a beam bypass, this is the this is how you would do it: um, two defense heroes and then beam bypass, and then you would be able to max that. So, um, yeah, so that that wouldn't be red anymore. I actually didn't finish this one. Uh, Astari says, "Do you think cannon and beam weapons together are not possible to use? It must be missile and cannons." I know about res hole, etc., but beams have a lot more damage, and on BS, that rate and damage can be better than missile. Yeah, so I think it's um, it's tough. Uh, the thing is, is with hyper battleships, um, I still think every weapon on hyper battleships will, is viable, except maybe not fighters. I don't use fighters that often on hyper battleships, but cannons definitely have their place, and missiles and beams definitely have their place. Um, the thing is, is that especially at early game, uh, not a ton of people have advanced magnetic jamming or advanced beam jamming is what I mean electronic jamming sorry um, so they're not getting the 50% damage reduction I ran into a couple fleets that like if you have max missile resist and with all these durability boosts and then you have a magnetic jamming in there like hyper battleships missiles they're still not going to be able to bust through um, unless you have like piercing fire or something so you can't just you can't just plow your way through missiles uh, there was a fleet that had five cruisers last time that I faced and I was stubborn and just tried to missile my way through it and they had magnetic jamming and I literally just couldn't do enough damage and like my guys have like a lot uh, they have like 5.5 billion damage base uh, which is on par with most hyper battleship users I know some people have like 6 to 6.5 but uh, I'm still running I think most of my guys still have one skilltron uh, I'm like I'm like 5 to 20 LDs away from uh, getting those guys up and getting better trons. So I'll push my damage up a little more, but magnetic jamming definitely is going to have more viability. And advanced magnetic jamming and advanced uh, electronic jamming too, if you're running evasion builds, uh, it's going to make it really hard to hit them. Um, and beams have a lot more damage. So yeah, so the beam rate is really nice, but the thing is, is that stealth, the reason stealth is so good is because your missiles will fire first, but uh, if they're running missiles too, then you can't stealth by their missiles so beams like you so you have to take out their dps and the best way to do that is with missiles or cannons so you can't just run beams necessarily if they have a missile fleet but if they're running beams on the other hand you could run beams and if they have nothing except for um say fighters or no dps then you can run s uh sensitive beam uh which 
absolutely wrecks with hyper battle shifts. You you do a lot of damage with sensitive beam. Um, yeah, so those are my thought. That's my thoughts on like MS8 and stuff. Uh, I still think it's vi. I still think like they're decent and viable. Um, but it's just kind of changed things up, and like you can see like how many different builds there are. And I think that's what's nice about these formations is that it's offered a lot of us like a, a lot of different ways to play the game, uh, which we didn't have before. Um, I'll move it down, and then we're gonna bring up hyper motherships. there for a second um ch -ch 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 -ch. <coughs> sorry i've had a cold so i might be coughing a bit this stream um all right so let's see so um on the left there let me move over to it um, so this build, I actually like this build a lot. Um, so this is with advanced central repression right here. And um, you only need one defense hero, and you kind of throw out the cannon defense to bait them into thinking you have max miss or max cannon resistance, but you really don't. You're weak to piercing cannon. Um, but you do have a free device, so you can rock reflex shield. Uh, so with reflex shield, hyper motherships with like dur bonus, um, and the... Uh, so like if you have like 10 points in the durability, so that's like, that's what, 35%, 30% for formation, and then 20% for the ships. Uh, that's a lot of durability. So being weak to cannons right there I think is okay, because cannons have such a low rate of fire that hitting 2 billion isn't going to really do too much against them. Um, and then this build right here, um, what is this? Um, yeah, so this one... Uh, not sure if I like it or not, because you're still you're weak to all tiers too. But I guess it's okay. The only thing that's nice about this is you save another device slot. Um, so you get an extra slot, uh, and then two device slots, um, which I think this could be potentially useful on, um, like a counterfire hero or something, uh, to get the accuracy bonus if you're not going to run the accuracy formation, and then you could run. Uh, reflex shield or something like that too uh, but you do need a lot of points in um, fighter resistance so that's what kind of turns that one off and that's also in double repression actually never mind about getting the durability bonus on that um, and then this one too uh, it's kind of similar but uh, you have to use two extra slots um, and then you're really weak to cannons but you get that extra device but you get the durability formation um, so I think this one's an also another decent one. You're just really weak to cannons. I think Hyper Motherships, they don't necessarily need to patch out, um, patch up their hole in cannon resist. I think it's better to just play with it and go for, um, and go for, uh, more durability. Um, cause I think if you can bust, if you can go up like six to seven durability with all the device slots and formations and stuff, um, you'll do a lot better than trying to patch the, patch the holes in your fleet. Oh, and the nice thing about this one too is that uh, the missiles right there have 145. So actually, against advanced piercing fire, you'll still be fully resisted against them, uh, against missiles. That is so. Uh, just another option right there. Uh, and then this one was uh, oh, oh yeah. So this one is um, uh, compact armor. So uh, so you can run the compact armor and get 25% extra durability, and then a device slot. And the resistant or the durability formation, um, you just need five points in the fighter resistance. Uh, so I think that's a that's a cool option too. Um, lot, lot like I said, there's just so many different options uh, in the the meta now. Um, actually, we'll start over over here. This is where I. So this is the classic max resistance one, um, right there, and. Uh, the only way I could do it was with two resistance heroes. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone else was able to do it with just one, but uh, with two resistance heroes, you can save one device um, and get it that way. Assuming my math is right. I'm pretty sure it is, though. But yeah, it's with fighter resist and um, cannon defense. Uh, yeah, I saw someone post that beam and cannon 
was the way to go, but I think you can do it this way. Uh, actually, his post might have been with compact armor. I'm not totally sure. Uh, and then we have like a couple more, and then we're, then we're done. We'll move on to League. But I know people have been asking for like different ways to do this and stuff. You can do it with one. You just need more fighter resist upgrades. But you don't save the device slot then, probably. I'm assuming if I ran... If I ran fighter bypass there, more fighter resist upgrades. Yeah, you could you could pop that up. Um, could you get it in the durability formation though, Sarah? That's that's the big thing I, that this that this does. Um, is that like you get the durability? Because I think hyper mothership should should play to durability, not to play it to max resist. Personally, I don't know if max resist will have a staple in the meta anymore. Well, it probably will, but. Yeah. Um so then this one too is just a uh, max resist um durability formation but you're not resisting cannons. Durform plus reflex one defense here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um and then yeah, that one right there. But yeah, so these is like just my 2 a.m. uh numbers crunching stuff I did. Uh but yeah, I'll probably do cruisers sometime. Um, how do I get rid of that? I gotta move it down. Uh, I'll probably do cruisers sometime, like cruiser eight and hyper cruisers. But uh, I don't run those personally, so I just haven't cranked out the numbers. The only reason I cranked out uh, this is because I have hyper motherships on defense. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. All right, let's see. Uh, Cool, cool, cool. All right. So yeah, so we can get back into or right into league. Actually, we never started it. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, so Achilles, Achilles, top guy right there. Uh, they'll probably win anyway, like overall too, because uh, he got number two last time. So um, Avati. All right. <sighs> yeah. So like, I haven't really done any like league preparing. So I might mess up some of the stuff. Uh, I think it's going to be kind of similar to what it was, but it'll be a little bit different. Um, but yeah, so fighter defense and cannon defense. Um, and then the counterfire hero and explosive fire and cannons. Um, yeah, so I think I think stealth hyper battleships can still beat this. Uh, just trying to, as long as these two DPS get taken out, it should be fine. And then his counterfire isn't as much of a threat anymore if I run that evasion uh, with 10% attack formation. Um, and he doesn't have any confusion fire or anything to hit me up there. So I think that's how that's how I would go about doing this. This guy also has really low lead. A lot of his guys have low lead. Um, so, But it doesn't look like he's boosting ability. So maybe he just doesn't have good trons. Um... Let me make sure that guy is stealthed up. Uh, don't worry, it's MS Counterfire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But before, I used to have to worry about Mothership Counterfire. Because uh, it could definitely hit me. He most likely doesn't have enough accuracy. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Is that, like, now he won't... Um, he won't have enough accuracy, uh, assuming I'm running... Because uh, my evasion... Uh, I have evading beams, so I should make it so that I'm evading uh, fighters. But if I'm evading fighters, I get 134 plus 60, so that's 194. And uh, I think, what it, what is the accuracy of uh, death fighters? It's pretty low. And if he has an accuracy extra on, it's only gonna his accuracy is not gonna be super super high. Uh, it's only gonna be. It only like 240, so he still would only have like a 30% chance of hitting me anyway. But yeah. He would die on impact? Not necessarily, because his res hole is probably in cannons, and I'm not going to run cannons. Um, that's the thing. It's like I have to hard commit to running missiles and uh, that, which I kind of know he's going to be max resistant for. But like he might have a piercing cannon. Also, he has two defense fleets, so he might actually just have. Uh, a reflex shield on it might be able to do it but yeah let's see um, yeah and then I'm gonna yeah, we'll just leave it. cool
Yeah. All right. Well, he didn't. He had a beam hole. But. All right. Uh, so now we have Widowmaker, who uh, I. This is the person that I lost to. I lost like two or three attacks to last time because I was too stubborn because of uh, this magnetic jamming guy. Um, but he actually has like really high evasion on his heroes, like 270, 250, and uh, oh, that's only 120. 240, 246. So he's got like decent uh, trons on there. Uh, okay, Sarah, the reason I'm saying that you don't necessarily, he wouldn't necessarily die is because my fleet ran this. So this was my fleet with counterfire with an accuracy extra, and um, I was able to max everything but cannon resist. So you you can you can do it with an accuracy extra still. But then again, that I did that thinking, oh, well, this will stop hyper battleships, and then I completely forgot. Like after, like it was earlier today, I was thinking, I was like, I was like, dang, I was like, wait a minute, they get sixty evasion for missiles, so there's no way he'll even get hit. Um, yeah, and this guy probably actually evades a lot uh, <coughs> with beams because he has that formation too. Um, yeah, so. Um, what did I? I think I needed a advanced piercing fire, so I'm gonna swap that in. Um, EF slaughter. I think you'd rather go sensitive beam, to be honest, for this guy. Um, but I'm not gonna run spread. I'm gonna run. No Eva will help him? Yeah, with Slaughter, no. Um, I don't want to pair. I want to pair my Piercing Fire with my uh, Explosive Fire so that they hit like that. Um, and then I'm pretty sure this was enough missile accuracy to hit him. Why do I, uh, but actually, I'm going to run... I don't need to be stealthed. Um, then I want missile accuracy. I'm just gonna run a missile accuracy device. Go to explosive fire. I actually only have one. Uh, I've been too lazy about leveling my Valentine. I beat this guy last time, so I'm not worried about whether I'll be able to beat him or not, really. Um, Uh, actually, do I have a accuracy with a missile? Uh, yeah, do I have a bunch? I don't want to waste a bunch of these. Okay, I got a couple. Cool. All right, we'll pop it. There. Now my advanced piercing fire will definitely hit. Um, and then I'll run. I'll run slot, or I'm gonna run sensitive beam on my explosive fire. I still only have sensitive beam six, but it'll be okay. Um, and I think I'll just stay stealth, just because I'm not like, oops, I don't need that one. Because there's nothing really else I could uh, add in there. Um, It doesn't really matter too much. <coughs> um, I'm not worried about his guys hitting me because they'll hit the advanced defense shield. I'm pretty sure he didn't have any. What did he, was the only thing he had was confusion fire. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just confusion fire missiles. So stop. I have attack device. I have attack devices, don't I? Yeah, I've got all the de devices. Beam flux is just what you have to run. There is no attack alien device for beams. Uh, and then I'll stay with that. But like, I feel like he'll be pretty decent at, at evading this. Um, but he might not actually be. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a good setup. And then uh, 
that's all good. Um, yeah, so we'll give this a shot. Like I said, it should work. Because uh, he doesn't have advanced confusion fire, so that's kind of hurting him, actually. Um, do I want... I'd rather take out his E. Yeah, I'd rather take out his ER right away. So we're actually gonna switch sides. But yeah, this uh, this should work. I'm not I'm not too worried about uh, this missing, to be honest. if I get confused it'll be different. Ooh, sensitive beam actually destroys there because I forgot it hits the point. That's nuts. Oh ouch. If my piercing fire would actually proc that'd be nice. Alright yeah, I think we'll get him. Cool. Yeah that was how it was done. <sighs> Probably a good thing I faced him last time. Otherwise it would have been could have gone poorly. Um, Alright, so right here, he's running battleships uh, and battleships on his DPS and then motherships right there. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think I'll just be able to blow right by him. He doesn't have an advanced formation. But I'm going to switch back to uh, explosive missiles. My, um, uh, this hero is so close to having a natural 15. And I have the perfect trons for her for like lead and stuff, but uh, I'm still stuck running. Um, uh, I'm still stuck running a skill tron, which kind of sucks. Oh well. Probably not gonna matter. Um, and then did I switch anyone else? Oh, I just don't want a piercing fire. And spread. Yeah, and that should work just fine. Cool. Um, yeah, because this long range fighter is just gonna hit my <coughs> <coughs> just gonna hit my advanced defense shield, so no worries there. Uh, yeah. I'm really worried I'm just going to miss an attack. And then, like, that'll be it. Yeah, bye bye. Um, Alright. Uh, e away. Or pound away. Just pound symbol. Um, let's see. This guy actually has pretty high ability. It's not going to matter too much. Interesting, he went battleship on the cannon, de cannon defense right there. Probably just has good stats, or he didn't have anyone else. Um, yeah, so this is a really just basic fleet, but it's not going to work well in league defense too well. Um, just because the long range fighter and piercing fire isn't a good combo, and then uh, yeah, advanced defense shield's nice there, but he'll definitely have resist holes, so not too worried about it. Mm, yeah, we'll just run this again. I do miss having my attack formation from uh, a while back, or from the last patch. Ooh, wow. That destroyed, was that through defense shield too? That's nuts. And I took some damage from the cannons, but no worries. Alright, now I got Zip. So he's got a super uh, EVA heavy fleet, but um, he actually, uh, let's see. I know he has hyper motherships that are about or maybe no no he doesn't no he doesn't that's uh that's someone else my bad um if zip sees this is he going are you going hyper destroyers or are you going regular destroyers or i mean like are you d going a different hyper uh, i can't remember what you're doing but yeah he's got the beam cannon evasion fleet on and then the he's got beams there but uh fighters i don't really like fighters there i don't think they're gonna hit so um because <coughs> against hyper battleships, uh, his fleet will be dead before then. Um, but yeah, we can probably just run this fleet actually. 
Theoretically, I could add another attack device, but I'm not too worried about it. I don't think he'll just have the durability. Yeah. He does have the beam evasion, but... Looks like not the missile evasion, though. Yeah. It's hard to evade missiles, though. So you can you can get a high high accuracy on it. Uh, but it's a he's in our chat. Um, he's a newer newer level 100. I'm pretty sure. But uh, yes, yeah, so he's got Claire there. Um, cannon resist beam res formation and then cannon defense hero. So I'm wondering if he's an axing cannon resist. Uh, but if he has this, it's gonna be really hard for him to max missile resistance. Uh, so he probably has a missile hole. Um, so we can we can just blow him up with missiles. I think we should be able to. Are all these fleets? Do they have? No, it's, this one isn't a point formation. Man, if I don't proc, ooh. There we go. I don't think my spread fire has it proc'd <laughs> this entire league. I don't think it has. All right. Um. Then we got Lord Umbra. Wow. All weapon accuracy. Uh, I don't really like this. I don't like this counter fire at all. Um, so I think the best way to use this formation, I think you have to stick counter fire in the back. Um, counter fire and confusion go in the back, and then you would put like an ER hero here or something, or like a defense shield, but a hero that doesn't need to stay alive, because attacks are going to target these these corners right here. Um, so you need to be able to keep your other guys alive and make it so you can only hit them with like random fire spread, explosive, etc. Um, yeah, but he's got cannons and then advanced long range fighter, but that's really not a threat because it's just going to hit my, uh, especially with that accuracy, it's gonna, just going to hit my tank. Um, and he's going to be weak to, he's going to, he's, he's weak to cannons, so I could just cannon spam him uh, and probably win. But uh, I think I'm just going to stick with my missiles. Because, um, yeah, he's probably not pushing durability. So, yeah, And I'm not really worried about this counter fire hero at all. So, Because uh, it's, <laughs> it's not going to have the durability. So, <coughs> It did once, but it wasn't an open proc. Yeah, spread's only good opening, I think. Because uh, I need I needed to pop the shields. Um, yeah, we can run this. Ugh. It's like it's three. All right, I got like an hour and a half left before I really gotta go. It didn't proc again. I wish it would just proc, you know. Oh well. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. these guys are going pretty quickly, so we'll see. Unless we run into trouble, but um, yeah. And then we got dark. Uh, has he attacked anyone yet, or no? Is he still at zero? Yeah, a bunch of people are still at zero. I'm not used to doing this on Friday. Usually I wait until Sunday or so. Um, but yeah, so uh, so this advanced counter fire right there. So the only way around that is... I think I might want to use advanced piercing fire, to be honest. Um, what's the beam evasion formation? What does that look like? Piercing fire in. Oh shoot, did he have a defense shield? I think he did. Yeah, he does. Mm. Uh, we'll swap. So if I am out. Um. But, uh, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, I could just run regular defense shield and use advanced piercing fire to take his counter fire here out because it's in a bad spot. And then I could try and evade the beams, the confusion fire beams. I think that's the way to go about this. Um, because if uh, I know I'll be weak, I know I'll get hit by his counter fire, but assuming my. Um, oh, shoot, I got it. 
Assuming my um my spread pot procs not my spread, sorry, my piercing fire. Um his counter fire here will die really quick. I think I'll run that. Is that what I want? Uh where will my explosive hit? I gotta make sure my explosive hits the counter fire hero, but I think it will. Unless he's running what formation is he in? Yeah, okay, it'll because it'll hit this guy and then it'll explosive fire hit him. That's just what I need. Um ooh, but then his DPS doesn't get hit. Should be okay. Um but ooh, will it be okay? <sighs> I actually don't like this. Cause I need my spread fire to proc. <coughs> My advanced piercing fire will shoot second to last, yeah. But it'll shoot at it'll shoot before my explosive fire. Uh, I think what I might do though is actually make it just fire before spread. Um, I think I might run it like this. Um, advanced piercing fire will go off before spread, but it should be okay. Um, I'll still do a decent amount of damage, and then if my explosive fire procs, it'll it'll just it'll literally destroy it. Um, plus one of them will, one of them will get hit hard. So I think this is the way to go about it, uh, and then that evasion will help me out a lot. Uh, and not with this guy though, actually. Uh, that's okay. I'll just run the fighter evasion. I'm not gonna evade his beams. Uh, maybe I will. With sixty. How do hyper motherships doing this so much? That's a lot of evasion, actually. Uh, oh, I only go up to 110. That's why. So I'll be at what 170. Uh, yeah, I might evade. Oops, I don't want to change weapons. Um, but yeah, this setup should work, because I don't think his counterfire will be able to kill me. I think it would have been harder if his counterfire was in um, not the not the D not the DPS slot personally Oops. I do lose out on some of my missile attack but uh, that's okay I am running I'll get beam attack actually and then my um, advanced piercing fire should take care of the guys so that should be fine um, surprise he doesn't have the advanced formation yet but yeah I think I think this will work Let's hope so. Achilles was able to do it, so. Oh shoot, I don't have I don't have stealth on that guy. Is that gonna kill him? Oh wait, no, he was using fire fighters. Ah oh, jeez. Ah, oh, come on. No. My piercing fire never went off. Uh, I'm still gonna get it. Okay, that could have gone real bad, actually. My piercing fire just never procked. Oh wait, do I ever trond up? Yeah, I do. Right? She's at 15. Okay, yeah, yeah. Whatever, it worked. Just sucks that piercing fire didn't proc. But uh, um, yeah, I think I'll run. I'm going to run my old fleet with regular defense shield. Oops. And then uh, we'll go back to missile attack, evade the fighters, because we don't need to evade the CF. And then we'll swap back to fighter evade engine. Yeah, a lot, lot more switching. Oh, this guy's already in it. A um, lot more switching this league, just because, like, there's so much more variance in the fleets that people have, which I think is a good thing. Um, I'm really hyped for universe, the universe tier to come up, because I think that that'll, like... Uh, I can't wait until every guy has, like, super hyper. Um, and I guess people will say, oh, we should have just been playing Denev. But, uh... I don't know. I didn't want to. I don't want to redo all this grinding. So I'm glad that like we'll get high level competition even on Antares. Um, 
it'd be cool if we could go server to server but uh, even just playing the top guys in this will be that'll be nice um, but uh, yeah that should work put my spread fire there and yeah this will proc nice hopefully Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hey, my spread fire proc'd, finally. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm am I running advanced defense shield? I am. My bad. Good thing he can't hit me. <laughs> he definitely doesn't have accuracy extras on. Oh, well. Uh, I definitely should have been running regular defense shield, but whatever. I messed up. Um, does this guy have six stars? Like, that's all he got? Alright. No, he's just hitting um, yeah, he's got, I don't like that analyst there, but, um, I also don't like counterfire here, but if you're going to run an analyst, at least put them in the front line so they die quick. Um, counterfire is better in the DPS slot, but yeah, he's got high ability there, but low everywhere else. So, um, yeah, it'll be the same thing, but this time we'll remember to have regular defense shield. I worry like every like no matter who I'm fighting, I worry that I'm gonna slip up, and that was something that like I didn't feel uh, before. Like even though I steamrolled this guy, like I always think like he didn't have level 100 heroes, but like he definitely could have just cheesed out something because there's so much variance in this game now, uh, which I kind of like, but. Um, yeah, very much a cookie cutter fleet. <coughs> um, but he doesn't have he's running the beam res and cannon res formation so my battle his battleships won't have like any resist at all um, especially to missiles so we'll just missile spam him Ugh. got a friend request oh, what's this? looks like he's an and guy oh yeah wow no res there all right, Barcelona, Barcelona. Um, yeah, double long range fighter. I don't like that. You should stick with one and get the LTS in there. They're so rare, and like advancing it, it actually becomes pretty decent. Uh, but Yo Crondor, what's up? I don't think I've hit you yet. You're like at the, yeah, you're, you'll be like my second to last guy I hit. But uh, yeah, nice job this league. You did pretty well for not having hyper. Um, uh, um, ch -ch 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 uh, ER right there, but not too much of a threat. Nothing in this this is really a threat because his long range fighters are just gonna hit my my tank and his cannons. I'll sp I'll stealth by, so I'm not I'm not too worried about this fleet actually. Neptars, he's in our chat. Although I haven't seen him around lately, maybe he doesn't post that often anymore. Um, I don't like that he has this this fleet master right there because it's gonna have no durability. He has level 15 advanced long range fighter, but it's still not gonna do much on defense. Uh, he's in the durability formation, but like he's running too many DPS. I think to take advantage of that, and this guy isn't gonna benefit. So really, only this one, and maybe this one or stuff like that, are getting some durability bonus. But other than that, it's not too great. Um, all Crondor needed was some encouragement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I just don't think this is the best way to use this formation. I think you need to really tank and stack durability on uh, if you're gonna rock this formation, because it does open you up to advanced piercing fire. So like, if you had a bunch of tanks here, uh, you can pretty much pick and choose which out of these four you want to hit, which is where it's bad. You only have one guy who will can only get hit by random spread and like explosive and stuff. But yes, yeah, so we can probably just run our normal fleet again, um, and it should it should blow them up pretty quick. <laughs> he has stealth on that guy, but like not very much at all. 
His confusion fire hit my guy hard. I think that was confusion fire. I'm not sure actually. Um, beam cannon attack and then beam cannon resist. I haven't seen this formation yet. Uh, I think it can be good, but the problem is like I'll sp I'll stealth right by these guys, so it's kind of it's kind of obsolete uh, against me there. Um, he'd be super weak to cannons though. Uh, but if he's running all tears on these guys, and you think you can run piercing cannon, you might get blown up pretty quick. Um, I wonder how people are doing against him. Like, what does a fleet like this do? Zero, five, two, four. Yeah, that's kind of how I figured. I, it's kind of like a you either blow this fleet away or you get wrecked by it. I think. But yeah, if he's yeah, I'm assuming he's running all tears. I don't think you should run piercing cannon there, but. Yeah, and then this isn't a threat. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I think we can just run our Warfleet again. Um, the only thing is that, like, since I, if I could get my Explosive Fire guy in the middle, uh, like in this spot, then I could totally blow him up. Uh, and I, my Explosive Fire would hit everyone. But uh, I'm not going to worry about switching stuff for that. Um, but I think, the, I think the beam formation... And the beam attack one, I could do that in. Uh, like I double tank on the other sides, I think is how it goes. Wow. He blew up quick. All right, so we got what? Four guys left? Four guys left, we haven't dropped an attack, but we still have Achilles uh, and we're getting to the decent guys. Um, <laughs> I'll, let's see, that's a lot of advanced. <coughs> <coughs> a lot of advanced skills. Um. I don't think you should advance a uh, defense skill unless it's on a master, because you're not going to benefit from the evasion from it. And like, he's actually probably has less resist than he would if he didn't advance it. Um, yeah, like level five. Like if the all these were just level fifteen basic and a hyper mothership fleet, it'd be even better. Um, because now he probably doesn't have max resist. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's in the durability formation. He probably has durability device. And then it's kind of confusing that he has cannons on here. Uh, I don't really know why he would run cannons with advanced confusion fire. Um, regardless, it shouldn't be too difficult, but I am going to swap out my IM for advanced piercing fire um, just to make sure. And then I might run cannon evade agents too. Just because I don't want to get stunned by it. Although, uh, yeah, it's worth it, whatever. I can't waste any attacks. I need to make sure I, I beat everyone. Someone's calling me. Uh, I'll answer it later. Don't they know I'm streaming? Um, yeah, I think normally, I think I don't need to run cannon evade engines on this. But I just don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. I have like one shot. I can literally waste one attack. And if, if I waste two, then I lose. So yeah. uh, it's not really going to. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bait with hyper motherships no matter what. So. Um, but yeah, so let's see, let's run, we can run it like this, I think, and then, yeah, that should be decent, I don't think he has the derb, he doesn't have any, uh, he doesn't have any ER heroes or anything like that, so I think my hyper battleships will eventually just do enough damage to him, especially with, um, especially with, uh, advanced piercing fire right there because it's going to hit his confusion fire early on um, oh one thing I do want to do though is I want to stealth my um, my hyper mothership fleet because she's the only one that's not stealth and his cannons would proc against me and then I would be stealth right away so we don't we don't want that to happen um, we'll just run we'll just run durability it doesn't really matter. Got a little more dirt on her. 
But yeah, I think I think this should be a easy easy sweep with this fleet. <coughs> I wish I would get over this sickness. Did I? Oh, I didn't even put stealth. Oh my gosh. I literally said I'm going to put stealth on, and then I put a durability device. Jeez. Oh, uh, that was what I didn't want. Oh my gosh. Now I get stunned again. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be okay. Maybe. Yeah, it'll be fine. Wow. That's what happens when you're just talking and trying to play at the same time. Like, I went into there saying I need to do this, and I just zoned out, took off the device, and then didn't remember what I needed to put on it. Um, oh well. I still got it, so it's all good. Oh, jeez. Um, this could be frustrating. Um, I think I need to bring back my IM. I need to make sure this this fleet dies. But I also like piercing fire in here. Uh, uh what do I what don't I need? Maybe I don't need EF. Hmm. Yeah, this one's this one's tough cuz uh I have to make sure that, like, because if this guy starts stunning me, it could be really bad. Um, but at the same time, this guy needs to die right away. Or, because if she procs against me, she'll wreck me. And Troven, uh, this is, th like, Achilles didn't five star this guy right away. So. So we'll see how it goes, because, uh. Ah. What do I want to do? I also don't know what his, what his holes are. I, I haven't, I haven't asked him. I could get that inside info, be like, where's your weaknesses? But, uh, yeah, I actually helped him make this fleet, so I'm pretty sure he has a cannon hole? Maybe? <sighs> but, ugh. Okay, so let's see, if I run... If I run this fleet, my beams... I think I might need to switch these to missiles. Maybe. Just to make sure that uh she procs first. Because if she's running beams, I'm definitely not gonna this one isn't gonna proc beforehand. Um so running Kryptons I think is the way to go. And I'm not gonna worry about my accuracy because uh, I'll still hit the DPS and that's all I need to do. And most of his tanks will die anyway, so. 426, so they need 300 evasion to 320 to beat me 100% of the time. But yeah, only this guy and this guy could potentially. Oh, we'll, we'll have we'll evade my my random fire missiles. Uh, actually, maybe this one too. One second. <laughs> We're a family, Anubis says. Uh. Yeah, I think I don't want missile extension. I need I need uh the missile attack twenty percent one. I guess we have to four sixty six, which is I'm more comfortable in. Um, Cause what is like what do my MS heroes have? My helper motherships guys. Oh uh, that's not gonna matter. He's not a master. Uh this guy is two twenty four and he's got three oh four missile evasion. And his had 250. So, yeah. So, I'll be able to hit him 100% of the time with that fleet set up. Um, unless he has a Missile Evasion Extra. But he no way in hell he's going to run a Missile Evasion Extra on a Hyper Motherships. We put the fun in Dysfunctional. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I actually like our group a lot. I definitely would have stopped playing a long time ago uh, if we didn't have um, our chat going. But yeah, I hope they implement leaks soon. I hope we can like ally with like Neos and stuff too, because ne Neos are people too. Um, ah, jeez, I'm really worried because if Achilles couldn't beat this guy uh, the first time, like, ugh. all right, I'm gonna make my engines beam evade engines. 
Because if he's running perfect missiles, uh, which I think I told him to do. I told him he was running beams, and I told him to switch. Um, but uh, he's probably running perfect missiles, or he has an accuracy extra in Krypton's. That's what I told him to do, so I think he did that. But yeah, and if all goes well, this should work, to be honest. Um, like, I'm kind of just worried about myself not proccing. Oh, you know what I need to do? Stealth. Actually, I probably don't need to stealth against this guy. I can't remember if he had any cannon fleets. No, he just had missiles. <coughs> <coughs> but oh well, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, yeah, cool. I actually don't need that. I'm going to run beam bypass. <sighs> Alright. Let's see, Trovan. Let's see how this stacks up. This... This should work assuming I proc. If I don't proc, it's GG. But if I do, it'll it'll be all good. Although, oh shoot. My advanced piercing player is gonna proc second, which is gonna suck. But no Troven, I'm hitting you right now. Look. I I've spent like five the past five minutes trying to uh figure out how to beat you. Um Afterwards, you should PM me your holes. Uh, it sounds gross, but uh, I'm I'm curious where your where your uh, R R yes holes are. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just give it a shot. Hope for the best. Hope I proc. Um, hold on, Sarah. You've been out of chat for a while. What do I need to hold on about? All right, I'll wait a couple seconds for you to send your message. Let's look at Crowder's fleet. Dang, he got he got that many stars with no hyper. That's nuts. And then Achilles. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I can do it. First try in his league defense. Yeah, you're running hyper motherships though. I can sell you the secret. <laughs> No, I think this is I think this'll do it. And I want I wanna do it myself. Uh unless he has a cannon hole. Does he have a cannon hole? I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna hit you. And we're gonna hope I hope your DPS dies or doesn't proc. Crowder has hyper battleships, I believe. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he's in the chat and he's told us that he doesn't have uh any any hyper. Um All right, Troven, we're going in. You stopped, uh, you stopped Achilles from getting five stars. Will you, will you stop me too? <laughs> Sarah says for only a thousand dollars, I'll get, I'll tell you his secrets. Are you serious? I don't proc, and you do. Oh gosh. Please stop hitting me. Please stop hitting me. How many times is that proc? Are you serious? And your beams hit me. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> he has a beam hole. The thing is, is, I can't. I'm running hyper battleships. I don't have my hyper motherships geared. So, like, I can't, I need to kill this DPS with missiles. That's the thing. Because if, if I don't, and he procs eight times like he did against me, that's uh, GG. All right, we'll hit him once more. Same fleet. Uh, if my spread and my, was that random fire had procced, it would have gone differently. I just didn't proc. That's all it was. That's all it was. Let me scroll back and check and see what I saw. It's my setup, mate. I think this setup would work. I don't see why it wouldn't, you know? <coughs> Alright, proc there. That's good. Proc there. I just need to hit the center guy. Come on, hit the center one. Hit the center one. One more, one more. Ah. Uh, 
Ah, shoot. No. Might be okay. Hmm. Do you have accuracy extras on your confusion fire hero? I feel like you have to. You have nothing. Is that gonna hit me? Is that gonna hit me? That hits hard. Why does that hit so hard? You have 40 fleets. I told you. <sighs> Comes down to procs, dude. That's all it is. Okay, that's fine. Uh, dang, if I had, if I had done that first, I'd be so much nicer. Cause then I, oh, shoot. Cause now I need to five star Achilles first try. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see. You gotta make sure I don't lose a. If I lose a start at Crowder, that'll be that'll be bad. Um, but let's see. So he's got. Cannons, I'll stealth by those. His I am hero should be dead. Uh, but I do like that he has him in that spot. Uh, actually, I don't know. I feel like Nargus is pretty weak there. Um, I don't know what he has for resistance wise. Let me check my charts. What can you do with advanced repression and then two defense heroes? Uh, so if he has a bypass device, he can max cannon, but be weak to beams. He could also be weak to missiles, or he could be weak to cannons. There's a bunch of things. There's so much he could do. Uh, I actually opened Discord. Um, sorry if I cost you a few extra tech. That's uh, not your fault. Uh, Connor has a beam. <laughs> um. I probably was just gonna run Warfleet against you, to be honest. Um, or actually, I might just I might just run by with missiles, because uh, I don't want your IM to hit me hard. Well, I'll be running regular defense shield, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back. Um, but yeah, Trove, it's not your fault. Uh, my procs didn't happen. Like that's what this game is. It's all just a math simulator. You play the odds, and you roll the dice. And I got I got unlucky that time. But uh, but it's nice to like, it's nice and it sucks at the same time when you run the exact same fleet and then that one finally works. He's stronger than you think. <sighs> I think that <sighs> regular defense shield. So I'll just run Nargus. Um, I'll stealth by him. I know he has MSA, and I know he's probably stacking durability or something. I don't make faults; I make trolls. <laughs> Funny dude. Um, well, he was drunk. He didn't remember. Was I? Was I talking? Was I drunk in chat one time? I might have been. Um, uh, Crondor was a pain in the ass for me. GG. Yeah, let's see how he's been doing. Crondor, if you had uh, made Achilles waste an attack, I, I, I would have been so much better. Two advanced intercept missiles? Sarah, I don't have advanced intercept, two advanced intercept missiles. I don't think anyone does. Advanced piercing fire? I don't think I need advanced piercing fire. I think that my fleet can do it, because his DPS are going to get wiped real quick. Because you don't need advanced piercing fire for... I mean, you could use it for Nargus, maybe. But like other than that, you have two IM. They are top tier, next to random. Uh, Zeth is asking, oh, if he if if IM is a good skill. Yeah, it's a it's a really good skill for hyper battleships especially, but um. It's uh, super good when it's advanced too. And you can advance it early on. Like most people say that you should save up LDs, but um, like I don't think you necessarily need to with um, advanced intercept missile because the benefit of it is that you hit two DPS fleets and that's that's super good in, a, in and of itself. Maybe I don't need spread though. Might run another random fire. Uh, I could run random fire. I could just run piercing fire. Um, oh, let's piercing fire. 
I want to take out Nargus quick. 450, 37, 28, Missile Master with IM, gold on ability. Yeah, that's a really good IM hero. Uh, technically, I think gold lead is better for damage wise, but like, that's a super, that's super end game right there. Um, yeah, you could, I, I would say you could fully invest. Uh, and then once you get it to level 12, you can advance it pretty early on. You can just try it up and then like, once you get like two LDs and then four LDs and six LDs, it'll go, it'll go up quickly and you get like a 10% attack bonus every time. But yeah, AIM pairs really well with stealth and hyper battleships because it's a guaranteed hit. So you, like, you don't have to worry about proc issues or anything. And like, uh, I have like 5.27 billion, but I know a lot of people have higher. Um, mine's like one or two skilltrons, I can't remember. Uh, and I have like advanced intercept missile 13, I think. So yeah, this is a it's pretty good skill. Some people have like seven billion base damage with her with him, or her if they have Adriana. But um, I think mine's gold ability too. So uh, all right, this is what I want. <coughs> my I, my end game. I'm thinking of going hyper battleships full stealth and two intercept missile and confuse. You'd rather have just one intercept missile and make it advanced intercept missile. I think any more intercept missile and it's a waste. Um, cause you need, you need random fire cause it's such a strong skill. Double random is good. And then you need spread to pop shields. So I think like double random advanced intercept missile and spread is one of the best hyper battleship fleets or double spread one random and then advanced intercept missile. I don't know if I would confuse with hyper battleships. You just need to make sure the DPS are dead uh, before they hit. You don't want to try and stun them. By the way, first formation worked well for me. I don't know if I like first formation just because it opens up my guys to getting hit. So if his guys don't proc, like if his guys don't proc, they hit against my tank, my defense shield tank. But uh, if I do, like, but if I was running the other formation, they would hit my DPS. So double random over double IM, got it, yeah. Uh, ad like, advanced intercept missile is what you want. Then you hit two guys for like 600 million at full resistance, uh, and you do a ton of damage to them 100% of the time. But you need to make sure the shields are gone, and then your your other heroes can clean up the rest. Like, I run Explosive Fire just because she's like super good stats wise, but her proc rate is only 58% at level 15 compared to at random, which is, uh, higher so yeah i think i'll stay on missiles still um true but proc game will proc no matter what yeah because i'm not gonna evade his nargus for sure but she should die pretty quick um my advanced priest fire procs, she'll be dead for sure. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this actually. Maybe I should be. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. And then we just have one left. Assuming I get five stars, which who knows. He doesn't have defense shield, and I think that kind of opens him up a little bit. Because I didn't have to run spread fire. Ooh, yeah, that's a good proc. Uh, I don't think he has full missile resistance. Because I shouldn't be doing 2 million. Yeah, he didn't have full missile resist. Sorry, Krondor. You didn't just have a beam hole. But, um... Jazz music background? Yeah, I'm playing... Let's play this called Jazz Vibes on Spotify. Uh, thanks. Yeah. I just like chill music for the stream. Uh... If I played like a lot of like electronic music, I think people would be like, Ugh, what is this music? So it's not porn background music, Sarah. I'm sorry. <laughs> um Alright, so last guy, so if we five star if I five star him, then I beat Achilles. Uh which is actually kinda huge because like he was like the second place last time. Uh and I always wanted to fight him like go head to head with him but I never had the chance um yes it is grab an old VHS and see for yourself 
Um, whew. So, the thing about this formation, and that I think it's really weak to advanced piercing fire. So I can set my advanced piercing fire <coughs> <coughs> to um, hit. Uh, here's the magnet. Sorry. Um, I can set it up to hit this guy real quick. And once, if this guy gets stunned and his DPS gets taken out, I don't see how I wouldn't be able to beat him, to be honest. Because uh, I'll have explosive fire taken out this guy. So, um, is long range fighter pretty much just to forget about it? Like pretty low tier, even advanced long range fighter. So long range fighter is a skill that like I haven't really even tried using. Um, I think it could work. But the thing is, is it doesn't pair well with stealth. So like, I need to stay stealth because of this cannon guy. So I can't use long range fighter. If he was running a pillow defense setup, I actually think long range fighter can be a decent, uh, especially if you pair it with our uh, like advanced piercing fire, because um, it already does a lot of damage anyway, and it like, it procs every what two two times from like super far away. So you can deal a lot of damage with it. Um, <coughs> <coughs> and it's good for melting tanks, but like, uh, it's gone are the days where people didn't have fighter resist or had like, cause back in the day it was, you would resist mother or you'd have like mother ships and you would have like 35 resist plus the res 15 formation. So you'd be really weak to them. Um, damn lunch breaks over, raise against the Achilles. I'll let you know how I'd use it. Um, might be a pop off in the chat if I beat Achilles. But yeah, so like I'm gonna advance piercing fire this guy, and then assuming this guy dies, there <laughs> drove your legend in your own mind. <laughs> um, yeah, I can definitely do it. I don't think his fleet is unbeatable. Um, uh, let me check my cannons, the the master spreadsheet. Uh, I might switch back to beams. Oh, I have to link. I think I have to link Krondor this. Yeah. Um, ch -ch 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 fire rate. Where is it? <sighs> Alright, there it is. Um, let's see. I always forget this. But if he's running PC. Where's Altairs? There's Altairs. Okay, so my slaughters will fire before his Altairs. So that's all that matters. So I can run. I can run slaughters instead of. Um, instead of running uh, cannon or missiles here. Uh, so I'm gonna take full advantage of that. Just in case he has a hole. Um, slaughter beam. I could, no, I couldn't run sensitive. If I ran sensitive and he was running altars, I wouldn't proc before him. So, but if he was running piercing cannon, then it's a different story. Oh shoot, you know what he's probably doing? Oh, is he full? He might be stealthing that. Oh, I'll stealth by anyway. It's, that's fine. Wait, if I... I actually haven't seen... What happens if we're both stealthed? Do I drop stealth even if I, do, even if I don't fire? I actually don't know. Oh, this could go bad. This would make sense, though, if this is why he's doing it. He fires first, even if I even if I stealth by, I I literally can't stealth by this. Cause why am I? I'm not I'm not trying to fire. Both stealth equals defense fires first. Uh, that's dumb. Yeah, this guy's probably stealth. Oh, he's in motherships. Uh, I don't even I don't know if Achilles has stealth. I have never seen his offense fleet. I just know he farms Neos for days. Um, dang. I thought it was like... Uh, whatever. I thought you could stealth by if they don't run... Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure that like I ran one of these fleets like this where I ran full stealth cannons on like like a, a YOLO offense fleet. And I was pretty sure that you could just stealth by and run missiles and beat me. 
uh, as long as you don't fire. It's only if you com commit to firing. If it's Altair versus Altair, Stealth Defense fires first. But if I'm not running Altairs, don't I stay Stealth by? I'm pretty sure I can Stealth right by his Piercing Cannons. Because I don't know why I would drop and then get hit by it. You know? Because, like, I can Stealth by normal PC, so why would Stealth PC on defense be different? I'm pretty sure I can Stealth by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same weapon state though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so if I if I was trying to beat him with cannons, it'd be a different story. Okay, that makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Uh glad we clarified that. <laughs> just 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 so I knew. Um But okay, so I want my explosive fire to proc against um probably against this guy. So I hit this in the explosion. And then, oh, I could hit this too. But then I, I hit this one. Okay, so I keep my EF there. Do I want IM? I kind of only have IM right now just to make sure that I hit uh, this guy. Oh, shoot, I need spread. Okay, we're not going to run IM. Oh, I'm banking it all on a spread proc. I hate this. I literally hate this right now. Oh. Shit. All right. So, so this is how it's gonna go. So, if if I proc first, oh, he's got advanced confusion fire on missiles there. Uh, so my beams might get. Uh, I gotta take the risk. I think. What's the best stat priority for attackers? Ability, attack, lead. Uh, I think ability is good for if you're trying to get accuracy. Um, but so like I usually would run I would run double ability extras and like if you can and then ability trons and then a secondary ability stat boosted of course uh, but then I like lead better than attack but honestly it kind of depends like if you're pushing like if you only have like 400 attack and you at like 70 70 K lead or something it might be better boosting up attack but if you're at like 550 attack and like 42k lead, you need to boost lead. So you kind of have to boost what you're not boosting already. Uh, if you think about it, like, like how I've described it is like uh, a triangle sort of. So like, uh, can you guys see this? So like, all right, we're gonna do simple geometry here. So like, this would be like the most perfect area. So like, an equilateral triangle would have like the most area for like in it. But like, if you had this, so this would be like. The point would be like really low like lead or something but you had really high attack and you had really high um ability but you had low lead so your, your area in this is going to be really really small and that's like your damage so like you want to like you can like stretch the circle like different ways um and get it that way i've pe seen people do it with like rectangles and stuff it's like why a square has the most area than a rectangle uh over a rectangle so like if you have like a, a 1 by 12 area rectangle or a 1 by 13 that's like 14 perimeter but a 7 by 7 would have 14 area instead of uh 1 by 13 having 13 area i don't know if that makes sense that's how i view it in my mind so you want an e you want an equal balance of lead attack and ability that's how i think of it i don't know i got a weird mind so but if that makes sense to you, that's good. If not, just ignore what I just said for the past minute. <sighs> Alright. So well, I think we'll just give this a shot and hope it works. Um, if my piercing fire procs, that'll be nice. Um, did you take that into account so you don't have to take scared stealth? Yeah, yeah. Is my hyper mothership stealth? Let's make sure. Um... I can stealth by stealth though. That's the thing. I I got initially confused because he was saying I couldn't, but it was it wasn't that. So so yeah. So assuming that I proc everything, his advanced confusion fire missiles doesn't hit my beams. My beams take out this guy. I'll win. If it doesn't go like that, it's GG and he wins. Um, I don't need I don't need regular defense shield. All right, there it is. I need my stealth to proc. Please proc. 
Ah, oh, no, are you serious right now? Oh, come on. And my beams don't proc, and his cannons do. Nah, no, that's it. Ah, oh, dang it. Now I proc, of course. Alright, well, I'm just gonna run a... Oh, dang, he's got high beam resist there. Um... Yeah, it might have not worked. He has actually really high durability on that guy anyway. Shoot. Oh, well. I'm just going to keep hitting him. See if I can get it to work. But yeah, props to him. Uh, he had more durability, and it was it was a tough setup to beat. Uh, maybe Hyper Battleships isn't the way to go about it. Oh, now I proc. Uh, his cannons just always proc. My explosive fire didn't, too. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just keep retrying. I wonder what he's weak to. I bet he's weak to cannons. At least for his DPS, maybe? Ah. Uh. See, this hurts because this means that I know I could have won right there. <sighs> Shoot. Oh, well. So I, I, oh, I had, a, I had a, a setup that worked, but, uh, dang. But yeah, it just took me, I used what, 21 attacks to get all my stars and he used 20. So yeah, he beat me fair and square. Uh, Dang, I've had some close league matches. I've gotten second three times now. Ran into the same thing. La last time I fought Achilles, he's super tanky, high res, and he runs the anti-proc device. Does he run that? Uh, interesting. Yeah, the thing was is his... His, um... His Clara guy, or I don't know if it was Clara, but... That that hero had really high durability, so probably reflex shield. Well, definitely reflex shield. Uh, and I'm wondering where the hole was, because it wasn't missile or beam. Um, but let me see what you can. Well, let me see what you can do. Go back to my hyper mothership build. So he had fighter defense and. Um, okay, so he could have. He actually could have just had max resistance. Um, because if you run both, uh, I'll pull it up. I'm wondering if he was running this setup. I'll pull it up real quick. Um, I'm wondering if he was running this one in the the left hand corner right there. I wish I could talk to him. Because uh, I, 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 this might be what he was doing, to be honest. Because um, I know he was in that formation. And I know he had the fighter and cannon defense. And then that saves him that device slot right there. So he would get... Um, he would get reflex shield. Yeah. I'm guessing that's what he was running. So he might have actually just had full resist on everything. Um. Yeah, but that's what's cool about this game is like I can like pinpoint after I lose like what he was using, or at least what I think he was using. But uh, yeah. So that was that was the league. We got second place, but we got second place to Achilles. So like, it's kind of whatever. That's why I'm kind of I'm glad that Universe League is gonna happen. Cause I've gotten I've gotten second three times now, cause I've been paired up with top top five players three times um and like i've i've like tied twice i think but they got there first so they got the win and then achilles um beat me there but yeah so i'm curious what i'm gonna place in the season um like i feel like i'll be in like maybe top probably top 10 or something uh it depends if i win next time but yeah 
but with the universe league it'll be it'll be a little bit different because we'll all be in the same league so it'll be how many times do you have to waste attacks and stuff so but yeah that's pretty much all i had in tune or uh, yeah that's all that's all i had planned for the stream um since uh we we got through all the league and then we we kind of covered at the beginning um what you can run with motherships and uh hyper motherships for resistance but yeah so i'll upload this to youtube oh i got this oh, i meant to use an xp booster oh well a new planet is discovered but i think it's the same one not sure if that's a bug or not but yeah so yeah that was it uh I kind of like what they did with the patch. Uh, I think it changed things up a bit. I'm not a big fan of the retirement system. Uh, I think it could have been implemented a little bit better. Um, but I mean, I don't really have anything super, super like to say about that. I kind of actually just wish it gave straight LDs um, rather than like I have to retire it into a hero. I understand why, but like, so I have this guy who's like pretty decent, but I'm never going to use him anymore. Um, so like if I want to like dismiss him or retire him into say my Clara, like I can't even get anything out of, out of crystals. So like it's really frustrating because like I wish I could just how many LDs have I put into this? Like maybe like forty. Just give me like ten LDs. That's all I want. Like I don't need anything. But all right. But yeah. Uh yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next week probably for the for the last the last round. But. Cool, cool.